We're used to buying products made from recycled plastics or cardboard, but what about living in a recycled home, an entire building made from recycled materials? It's an intriguing concept and one that researchers in Spain and Italy are working on. We've come to meet them. This is the test site of an EU project called RE4, where experts are comparing a recycled building with a traditional building. The one with scaffolding uses today's construction supplies and techniques. The other uses recycled and recyclable materials. They'll monitor and compare them over a period of four months. What we can do is a comparison at a thermal level and at a construction level. With that, we can do a comparison in terms of energy efficiency, and we can also measure the time it takes to build and then demolish each one of them. The new construction is made with up to 80% recycled concrete, including prefabricated panels that can be reused. To build it, the RE4 team developed a range of new materials. Recycled aggregates have been used to manufacture all the components and materials of the building shown here, and have also been made to make these tiles. These tiles are made of cement and recycled sand. We have this, which is recycled wood and plastic. Recycled plastic and wood is very light and has been used to make aggregate for light concrete. On the other side, we have pieces of wood, like this. We have used this wood in the project to make insulating wood panels, as you can see here. Creating such materials could appear simple, but it's far from the case because of the nature of construction waste. The main problem is to separate and classify it, because the construction and demolition waste is all mixed up together. Other RE4 project partners here in Italy are looking for new ways to tackle that challenge of separating and classifying the waste, which today often ends up in landfill. Their new system uses a multi-spectral camera and artificial intelligence to identify different materials and a robot arm to separate them. So basically we have three classes that which need to be picked up. The first one is files, as you see that it's going inside. The second one are called bricks. It goes to the brick one, and the last is the glass. And the rest are not touched because they are classified as mineral aggregates, which basically they are gravels, plaster, stone, uh, and asphalt. The concept is to deploy this kind of system onto building sites to separate waste and reuse it, although the engineers admit their prototype isn't robust enough yet to cope with those kinds of conditions. Obviously, there are inevitable problems with dust and infiltrations due to rain, wind and atmospheric events in general. And for large volumes of material, it's also necessary to use more robots than the single robot we're using in our laboratory. Back in Madrid and after their comparative test period, the researchers will argue for a change in building regulations to allow for far greater use of recycled materials in new offices and homes.